so we got a turf a turf war here. Definitely a turf war, man. And man, it's but be we're we're in the Tenth Planet Austin house. Yeah, this is definitely home field advantage for Jacob Harris, but for Andrew, Andrew Tackett. Andrew Tackett just came back from ADCC's the trials, East Coast trials. I'm Andrew sure. the red corner. He's how far did, how far did he Harris, make it in that you truck? Know, I'm not sure how far he went. I know I think he won at least one match, but I'm not sure how far he went though. Him and his brother both went out there. His older brother. Yeah, I know his older brother. I think he's done a couple of my seminars before. Yeah, I, be I believe it, man. He's probably out there. To the possibility he might have been out there today. Yeah, he was. I saw him earlier. Oh, yeah. yeah. Jacob. Yeah, the blood Harris. runs thick with the tackets. It's easy to not easy to recognize, I guess, is the best way to say it. They all look alike. And here we go. 135-pound championship and on it, Invitational 10. Can you believe the 15-year-old has made it to the finals? Against the seasoned 18-year-old. I mean, it's, it's the crazy. The seasoned 18-year-old. Yeah. yeah, this is going to be a nice nice match. A lot of jiu-jitsu is going to happen here. A lot of scrambles, too, I'd imagine. Man. These, yeah. Both, both these guys. Incredible. I don't know if I think there's going to be a sub in this regulation. They are just I could definitely see this coming down to overtimes. It could be just a total stalemate just because I mean, just the level both these guys are in. But man, Tackett at Mount Brav a second there now back in the top half. He's kind of going into Jacob's game here a little bit though. Mm -hmm. There he goes. Yep. Got the half guard sweep. Mm, nice. Oh. nice. That's those legs we've been seeing all Yeah, there. I know, man. Dude, that kid has some long legs for his size, man. He's still growing into that body for sure. Is that time right there? The, are these finals 10? I that... believe so. So for the championship match, it's got a little bit longer regulation. Well, good. Maybe we can see a finish in regulation then. So Tackett's kind of doing like a leaning on the door thing. I'm not sure what, what he's trying to set up here, but. Uh, he's just getting enough space to use his legs. Mm -hmm. Man, and he's so good at taking that back from there. And he was ready. He got right out. Oh, to be young and flexible again. <laughs> Got a lot of people on their feet out here tonight. Oh, that Iminari was slick by Jacob Harris, but yeah. cleared it right away. Really see a, a lot of versatility in their movements. You know, and there's always, there's all these different, you know, weight classes in all the combat sports, but as a competitor for this weight class, I can only imagine, you know, these guys being so young, and these are the guys you got to watch out for, you know? And I mean, there's guys that have been training all their lives that are adults. It could be these guys' fathers. And I mean, this is what they got to watch out for. It's incredible. Jacob's kind of inviting William into his half. I think he's pretty confident he can get the sweep like he did a little earlier. But as long as William's got his knee out, he's pretty pretty safe. Good movement by William. It's also interesting is, is is it's like a 
a long body versus a shorter body. It is. Oh, man. He might have it. This was a good line of attack. It doesn't look 100%. Like a, looks like a ninja choke or something. It's a, it's a Darce. Yeah, it's a Darce, sir. It's, it's pretty perfect. in, but man, I have no clue how he got out of that, man. He got his elbow to the other side of the body. I've noticed. But that's what Williams should be looking for, using his longer arms. Here's some good pressure. Bring the pressure. I'm surprised he hasn't pulled that jab necktie whenever the Darce is kind of ineffective. I mean, yeah, that's what I was transition. trying to get Vinny to do as well with that's, Jacob. That's my favorite thing. I'm, like I said, I'm only a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, but I mean, uh, in terms of the effectiveness of the Darce and the Japanese necktie in competition for people of all levels, man, it's just great submission, especially for people with long arms like this cat here. William needs to be careful with his back getting taken in this position. If Jacob can get onto his elbow, he might be able to sit out and get behind him. Oh man, is it kind of like doing like kind of like a vaporizer thing from the back? He could get to the back here. Man, it's almost like he could actually. Yeah, that's a good move by William. Get his arm back to the other side. Jacob Harris working that oh, lockdown. Now he goes back. That's a nasty lockdown. That's what I'm talking about, the back there. Good little grapevine. I like the pressure. Andrew's doing good. He's trying to get a, a little slice. Oh, he's got the slice. He's got it. The leg position. You see that? What is that called? That's called a ham sandwich. I could have sworn that's a ham sandwich. I'm not trying to make it up. I swear. I, I thought I heard Eddie say kamikaze. Kamikaze, you're right. That's what they say. There's a couple couple different moves that are it's kind of the same crank, but from different positions. So I guess it would be a kamikaze from there. It definitely looked like it could have been painful a little bit, but... I don't like what uh, what Jacob is allowing Andrew to do right here. I know, man. Worked right for that head arm choke, man. He's almost there. This is good pressure yeah. from Andrew. And it's very if he can get his right leg. Well, now he's safe again. And it's real slow. Methodical. He's going back to that. He's going back to that crush. Yeah, that shoulder pressure is no lie, man. Oh, sweet chin music. Look at that. Sweet chin. Sweet chin music. Yeah, you know, I'm not a fan of reaching down for that sort of stuff and just exposing your face for for that kind of smash. This is oddly surprising to see Jacob people should. who have that kind of flow in the young man's game and still being able to apply some of the beauty of the old school game yeah. with the smash. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Oh, this could be in. He's got it up Man. by his ear in everything. He's if he could just get a little more. Attack it is there resilient, goes. dude. Man, right. I don't know. Great defense. Careful, careful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh my God, hack. man. Keep this is right hack. on a wire. Oh, this match is delivering the goods. That's the right move, Tack it. Un un get your right leg free. There he goes. Now he can roll. He can step out of this. Wow, oh, man. Good. I don't mind that I'm missing a pay-per-view UFC that I'm excited to see with the future of jiu-jitsu on the mat right now, potentially. Yes, exactly. 100%. And, I mean, they're looking like black belts out here. I mean, one did beat a black belt tonight. Yeah. 16 years is elder. It's incredible. Basically, it's almost like... You know, he's in a little bit of trouble here again. He's got to make sure he doesn't lose his... Good balance here. Man, what exchanges. These exchanges are awesome. I like the headhunting tack it's doing. Yeah. Oh, oh. Keep his right knee free. This is good. He might be able to get the back wow. out of this. A minute and 24 to go, man. He's this definitely going to have a shot of something here. So it's up to tack it. If this is going to go to overtime or not here from this position, he's got the three-quarter mount. If he can feed the hand, gift wrap. 
Nice. No, oh, no. man. Take the back. Take the back. Oh. Ooh. Wow. He's, got, he's still got some shots here. Uh. Jacob Harris, man. Resilient, man. Both these both these kids, man. Fantastic work. I feel like the, the momentum is a little bit more on Tackett's side, though. I well, agree. I say that. Wow. <laughs> oh! All the excitement. Man. But couldn't quite get any hooks in, man. But this is a back this be and match of the year? Very much. Very much so, I don't man. Know. Definitely the future. Win or lose for either of these competitors, a bright, bright future. I mean, do you know if Tackett competes in the gi? I think he, he must, does. right? Yeah, he does compete in the gi. I'm positive he competes. Yeah, he's a checkmate. Yeah, checkmate affiliate. That's awesome. And we are going into overtime. For tonight's 135 pound championship at Onnit Invitational 10. That's what I thought was going to happen, but there was definitely a couple moments where I started thinking that maybe it wouldn't. It was pretty close, back and forth a couple times. So Jacob Harris opts to take the back in round one of overtime. Tackett really dominated in overtime previous. Yeah, that seems to be his bread and butter is that back take with them long legs for that triangle. But let's see how Harris does here. Very compact. Yeah. Pro he's probably has a little bit of a strength advantage being that he's 18 and not 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, it makes a big difference, uh -oh. man. Oh. Wow. Man. Man, that looks bad. He just got that hand off in time. Uh, yeah, I mean, you have to imagine man. that. 15 versus 31, there was a strength discrepancy also, yes, right? Oh, yes, yes. Well, totally. Years. But it's been a long night. It's been a long night. Man. They both have some tough matches. And the crowd is going wild out here tonight in Austin, Texas. Tackett takes the back as he has this entire time tonight. Uh-oh. Jacob showed some really good escapes in the semifinal. Oh my gosh. How does the body go for the arm? Go for the way, arm. Man. Go for the arm. Go for the arm. Oh, there it go. Uh, 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 oh. oh! Man! Wow. I can see why everybody's losing their minds here tonight, man. This is going to be a close one. Hey, three grand when you're 15 might as well be $100,000. <laughs> right, man. That's a lot of money, man. <laughs> I used to work all summer to make three grand. How does he, how does his body bend that way? After being in such a tight triangle blows my mind. This is getting grueling. This is getting grueling. And you can tell it's getting grueling. Tackett's even kind of taking a breather a little bit longer than usual before he starts back on his back here. Uh, Jacob might be getting out of here uh, a little That's quicker. the head arm choke. He's still in a submission. It's not, it's not good. Not set in? No. Wow! Anyone have an idea who's ahead? It's got to be super close. It's mega close. I think it's going to be another photo finish where they're going to have to literally pull out the calculators on the time here, man. It's going to be down to the millisecond. Man, this has to be match of the night, if not match of the year. Good, good first move by Tackett. He got ahead there quick. If he can just get his elbow in, he's out. There he goes. Oh, man. I think we got to go all the way. I think so. Tackett is beat, man. Jacob Harris looks really composed, man, but Andrew Tackett, not a stranger to this. Stay on it. Ah, this is close. This is so close. 
This is so close. He's, he's still in it. That was big. Oh! That, that extra couple of seconds. We don't know who's got it yet. Do we know? We're going to go. We don't have judges, but we Eddie, have time. Eddie was celebrating. Maybe Jacob might have. Uh-oh. They're adding it up. That's an escape time by Jacob Harris. Okay, Jacob won by like eight or nine seconds, I think. That deserves a big round. And you're a 135 pound champion. Out of Austin, Texas, out of the 10th place.